over x. And we want to find the limit is x over here goes to 0. So, the graph is going to look something like this. It looks like a normal sine wave, but then it suddenly increases frequency. And then, it's just a big red block right in the middle. But then, it slowly decreases frequency and slowly it goes back to being a normal wave. So, the thing is here though, when you plug in 0 for x, you get a fraction with the denominator of 0, which, as you know, is undefined. So that's a dead end. So what else can we do? So we can just say that this does not exist. That means the limit of sine, the limit of sine of pi over x, with x approaches zero, does not exist. Presented using this minus sign, of f of x is not equal to the limit as x approaches and from the right of f of x then it can't exist these two limits are different the entire thing just goes boom so the second is vertical asymptotes when it never reaches something now this one is kind of argued over it's a kind of like a subject of dispute because some people say that it does exist. The limit is just negative infinity. But some people just say that that's not a number. So, it's kind of just, it's, I'm, in this classroom, we don't dispute, we accept both kinds. If on our final exam for calculus one, you say that negative infinity is the limit of some function that will give you score 100. But if you say that it doesn't exist either, then I guess we'll just give you a score of 100 too. It doesn't matter what you think. So the vertical asymptote is the second way. And the third way is just weird, as we saw over there. It's just weird, wacky behavior like what we saw with this function, sine uh, the um, pi over x. And it also technically needs uh, a zero denominator to work, but, but still, it just acts weird. So that's like, the third way that some things can't exist. So, now, let's go back to the top and now doing it. In this graph, we can see two ways where things are undefined. Can you identify the two ridges here where the limits are undefined? 